Tonight, Granite Staters are mourning the death of a Virginia police officer gunned down on her first day on patrol. Officer Ashley Gwinden graduated from Merrimack High School in 2005. Yesterday, she was shot and killed while responding to a domestic violence call. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Woods. Investigators say the gunman opened fire when officers arrived, injuring three of them. They were all taken to the hospital where later Officer Gwinden died from her injuries. She felt like um, she still wanted to do this job. She couldn't get it out of her blood. She clearly had a passion to serve others in a way that went beyond uh, herself. It's a sad day for, for everybody in this room. It's a sad day for, for, for law, law enforcement. But we, we are going to investigate this and criminal charges are, are pending. The suspect's wife, 29-year-old Crystal Hamilton, was also shot and killed before officers arrived. The Hughes gunman, 32-year-old Ronald Hamilton, works at the Pentagon. Right now, he's being held in jail on a capital murder charge and will be arraigned in court tomorrow. 28-year-old Officer Gwinden was a Marine Corps reservist who earned a master's degree in forensic science. She was sworn in as a police officer on Friday. Gwinden was born in Springfield, Massachusetts, and her family later moved to Merrimack, where she attended high school. WMUR's Kristen Crosa is live in Merrimack. And Kristen, what are the people who knew her saying tonight? Stephanie, officers here at the Merrimack Police Department were amongst the first to be notified about Ashley's death, and now tonight they are paying their respects. The flag outside the police department has been lowered to half staff, and their message board is now in remembrance of her as this community copes with this loss. Staff at the Merrimack Police Department headed into work Sunday with heavy hearts. Ashley Gwinden's family resides in Merrimack. Officers here delivered the tragic news. Our officers responded to notify the family, stood by, uh, assisted them in whatever support they needed at the time. Officers could be seen at the Gwindon's home early Sunday. The family has asked for privacy. When a fellow officer is killed in the line of duty, uh, it, it affects us all in some way or another throughout the country. Uh, and, uh, you know, our hearts go out to the family. Gwyndon was a 2005 graduate of Merrimack High School. My first reaction is shock and um, just an incredible sense of loss. Principal Ken Johnson came to the school Sunday afternoon to reflect on what has happened. I know that we have former Merrimack students who are teachers here who are from uh, the class of 2005 who are going to be devastated as well. I'm sure they already know. What's particularly tragic is not only is this a personal story about a young woman who was on her first day, um, but it's also a class that has experienced more than its share of loss. Johnson says Gwyndon is the sixth person to lose their life from the class of 2005. And in this particular case, I can't imagine anything more tragic. Under Gwyndon's picture in the 2005 yearbook, she left her classmates with this quote, live for something rather than die for nothing. At Merrimack High School, we have a motto, believe, go forward and inspire. And we'd like to believe that not only did Ashley embrace that motto, but that she personified it as well. A moment of silence will be held at Merrimack High School on Monday. The principal also tells us they will remember Ashley on graduation day. Reporting live from Merrimack this evening, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9. Kristen, thank you. Governor Maggie Hassan released a statement on Officer Gwinden's death saying, the death of Prince William County Officer Ashley Gwinden is a solemn reminder that every day our first responders courageously put their lives on the line to protect others. Whenever one of our law enforcement officials makes the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty, it cuts through the very fabric of our society. And Tom and I join Officer Gwinden's family in New Hampshire, loved ones, the Prince William County community, and people across the country country in mourning her tragic loss. We'll continue to follow this story on air and online with any new developments and with any information about a memorial service for Officer Gwinden.